Some of you already know that my stove of choice is the tea light stove because it's so light, simple, and efficient. But I'm always looking for ways to reduce the kind of fuss factor and the number of components I have to keep track of in camp. So normally I have to put the stove down and then my hardware cloth stand, making sure that it's centered just right, and then putting the pot on top of that, making sure that the flame is centered just right. So I think today I've come up with an idea that can make this a little bit more uh, integrated. So there's one less thing I have to keep track of. Basically, it's nothing more than attaching this tea light stove to the bottom of the hardware cloth stand. So I can just put it down, put my pot on, my windscreen, and then go. Assuming you already have a tea light stove and you've made a hardware cloth stand for it, the only other materials you'll need are J JB Weld high heat epoxy, pair of scissors, and this aluminum tooling foil. This stuff is very useful. I bought it at my local craft store for about five dollars. It's also great for windscreens as I've outlined in other videos. Okay, the first step is to put your pot stand on the tooling foil and then trace the perimeter. Then look at the squares in the hardware cloth and just mark the edges. You only need maybe three to five tabs to hold it in place. We'll see what I'm talking about later. And you're actually going to cut a larger diameter uh, than the circle you just traced. But for now, you can just mark where you want the tabs to fold in. After you've cut the larger disc, cut out the tabs and then put your pot stand on top of it just to make sure that the tabs align with the holes in the hardware cloth so that when you fold them in, they'll fit. Okay, next, you're going to take your tea light stove, put a little bit of JB Weld in the center. You don't need a lot, just enough to hold it in place, and center it. You're probably going to want, want to let that dry overnight before you attach it to the pot stand. Okay, final step. You should have ended up with something that looks like this. Now, I'm just going to place my pot stand on top and bend the tabs inside the hardware cloth wires. One little trick is to bend up the tabs a little bit so they're easier to lift and push in. So, place your pot stand on top. Again, making sure that all the tabs will align with uh, the holes in the hardware cloth stand. And then just take a knife, or you can even use your finger if you want. I'm just using this because it's a little bit easier. And bend them in so that they wrap around the bottom wire of the pot stand. Okay, in the end, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so when you're finished, you'll end up with an integrated pot stand and tea light stove. Doesn't seem like a big deal, maybe, but think about it. It's one less thing you have to keep track of in camp, and one less thing you have to think of when you're cooking. You don't have to worry about centering your stove uh, in the bottom of the pot because it's all automatically centered. So, I like this system. It doesn't look very durable, but actually I think it in increases the durability of the tea light stove because the hardware cloth stand adds a little bit more protection from it getting crushed. So uh, when you put it inside your pot with other items, you're probably not going to have as big of a risk of crushing it as you would if you just put it in there by itself. Other advantages include the fact that it's so easy to build and so cheap that if this ever gets destroyed for some reason or burnt out, which is highly unlikely, it's very easy to make another one and to replace without a lot of cost or time. This one maybe cost me about 10 minutes of my time. Uh, so very easy to make and very cost effective. I think I spent maybe five bucks for the whole project.